Hello, everyone. Welcome to our workshop about memory reconsolidation, the therapeutic re reconsolidation process, and coherence therapy. It is our great joy to welcome you here and share this wonderful workshop uh, with you that we have been teaching since 2016 uh, in Canada, in Quebec, in Oslo, Norway, in Paris, France. So it's a delight and a pleasure to be here with you. And it will be really a pleasure to be with you and share what for Sophie and I was a, a very important discovery uh, about our way to do psychotherapy. It has really changed our way of doing it. So let's, uh, let's share that pleasure with you. Uh, when you are learning that set of skills, a uh, natural progression, and we follow that natural progression in the workshop. That's why it's built that way. Uh, first, we want to develop if it's not already done, or we want to consolidate perhaps an understanding of why symptoms are necessary to have, which is called in the field pro-symptom coherence. It's not that we cheer for the symptoms, <laughs> it's simply because we always listen and understand things from the necessity to produce a symptom. And so after that, we will be a little bit more geeky and a little bit more technical and we will uh, look in details at the TRP steps. Uh, it's important to, to understand that well. And then we will look at how we can guide experiences of discovery and integration. Um, about 50% of transformations are spontaneous, which includes symptoms of resistance that we will look at at the end of the workshop. So, and uh, with a little help from the therapist, sometimes not even, um, the schema will transform because the rest of the TRP steps will simply unravel on their own. Um, but 50% of the time, it won't be the case. And of course, then we have to step in and we have to do more intervention in order to facilitate the rest of the process. Because it's, but, as a clinician, it's so extraordinary to see that it is possible to modify those uh, emotional learning that have been there for many years, like very often it's not, it's not uh, rare that these uh, learning have been there since uh, childhood. And then to see these, uh, these emotional learning, this schema change completely uh, so that the person uh, feels and sees the life differently or, uh, or a certain aspect of their life differently. So it's so, uh, it's so exciting for therapists. I think uh, that if, it's like you do it and just doing it will make you wanted to to do it more simply because it's so it's making a job but it's so addictive as a therapist <laughs> to get that kind of change yeah once you go MR, MR you never go back <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's what happened to us also over the years Okay, mm -hmm. that's why we invested such energy into really, really mastering this because it was so satisfying mm -hmm. to to always um, get a deeper sense, a better sense of how how to guide this in therapy, and and uh, most certainly the experiential says you have with clients as a result is a, is a reason enough to to keep working on it. So. Let's dive into it, shall we? 